Okay, Sagittarius. It's going to be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. And I am going to start off uh, with a moon oracle, and then I'll do the tarot, and then one romance oracle after. Okay, so for Sagittarius. is prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus okay and i'm using uh this deck this week which is my very first deck and uh got it with one of my um friends from uh, long ago that i haven't seen i haven't seen her in a long time I think, I believe I was, may have been with her when I bought this deck. And if she ever happens to be watching this video, Heater, you know who you are. I'm thinking, I don't know if we got this together or not, but, okay. That's her little nickname, <laughs> Heater. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and see. Sagittarius for this upcoming week. And uh, every sign has a power color, and yours is purple. And if you guys like these videos, if you want to give them a like, that'd be cool to let me know it, so I know to continue doing it. Okay. So there are air signs, uh, fire, earth and water here let me just see if any sign stands out to me sagittarius yourself a little bit stands out okay so you have a couple threes here and you have three tens here no, three tens. Ten is harmony, completion, like you completed cycle, uh, completion of things, renewal. And number three is love, wisdom, good fortune, like groups and celebrating. And then you have the prosperity lies ahead, Oracle here. Okay. This is a really nice here because you have both I, pr I won't probably go through every single card like I did and say what it means you know I'm, I'll say some of the cards but I'm just going to change up to a little different and I don't know like I said I'm not sure if you guys even like this or not um, but you have both the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups I mean that's and the wheel of fortune is number ten but um, those two cards are great to get but I will go kind of like in order though like I usually do but it does start off with the three of swords here so you might have to be having some sorrow or maybe some disappointment or maybe your heart is healing from something there could have been for some of you possible love triangle some or some type of deception and uh, now this can also be about like a warning type thing I don't know why like I think that's for very select few people, or, or like maybe one or two, but where it would show up that way. For some reason, just got that, I like guess, a warning there, like maybe like being stabbed in the back or something.
but uh, and if if not for others of you it's going to just say hey get a health checkup make sure everything's okay <clears throat> so next here so it, look, it shows good news that comes in swiftly and it might be travel for some of you and some of you might even have kind of like a heightened imagination or a, like a new level of focus <clears throat> that could be actually that's what the cord means yeah, but in a position that it is it might be that it's on your mind maybe you're waiting on some news to come in or maybe you're hoping for kind of like a more imagination or maybe you're hoping for to be more artistic in some way or maybe you want to be more like it can also represent somebody who's active and energetic and maybe even a little younger I say this to you a lot about this younger thing maybe this is Hold on just a minute. I'm just looking at the cards and getting feelings. This I don't know why. I just got this story for one of you right now about <clears throat> like you're worried. Like I mean, you might or I don't know if you're disappointed or something with a younger person. I don't know if this is your kid or a younger person around you or this could be on your mind type thing maybe something to do with sorrow or disappointment in a younger person maybe you want them to be focused more focused more imaginative more maybe this is an issue or on your mind okay I'm moving on here so it looks like you're inspiring and uh, motivational and full of creative ideas and maybe that's what's on your could be what's on your mind's possible it could be for some of you that you were because I mentioned uh, being like imaginative and this is about being creative also and have an artistic style so maybe this is on your mind <clears throat> but it, it does show that you have a, either you're a leader or you have like some type of leadership role for some of you this can be apparent that you are but it is coming out a little bit rash a little bit controlling sometimes it's coming out also well I mean you're a fire sign right I am too <laughs> okay so you have the ten of pentacles here like I said and that's right here and for this this is about a financial security for yourself for your family I know I've said this to you guys before um, but it is peace and contentment in life and a, like a general well-being and it's a card of like wealth and commitments and family and family traditions it's kind of like having it all in a way you know that's what I think it means and that's what I think it means for you for some it's retirement for others one or two maybe and then could be an inheritance so some of you there may be like a blast from the past coming around and um, can be that or it's possible that maybe you're thinking about either a person from childhood or things from childhood or it could be old dreams or old plans but that could be on your mind too if that's not in your mind then something from your past might just be coming back around and um, now this card okay so I, some of you it is issues with the kid because this could also mean it's possible that there can be possible issues with a child so some of you are having some type of issues with a with your child and I don't know if they're I don't I, I hate to say disappointing you because that just doesn't but it's kind of like maybe you feel some type of sorrow, disappointment, or I don't want to say it. Not, like you want them to do better, maybe you know. And there's you want them to be more creative and do better type thing. Something, to, but might be some issues, some other issues. But there's also here the Ten of Cups. So in this right here, so the Ten of Cups is living the dream. 
it's um, a happily ever after loving relationships with everyone it's security it's stability for those that want to be married it's a happy marriage so it shows living the dream this is in your near future future I swear I have an accent and I, and I was born and raised here I don't understand this accent <laughs> so you also have the three of cups and that's also about like celebrating and uh, relationships and I mentioned the number three you know is like celebrating in groups so it shows like having it all having a good time loving relationships security shows you like celebrating relationships friendships having a good time and it shows that some of you are social butterflies and um, a lot of you appreciate the finer things in life and it does also show that people are drawn to you like you're it looks like it seems like happy go lucky people are just drawn to you so you also have the wheel of fortune like I said this is a really nice re reading here for you when it comes to um, like harmony all this harmony anyways with the wheel of fortune here next can be for some of you um, a lucky break can be end of delays um, it's a positive change it's kind of like like cycles and turning turning up events and it can be a fresh new start for a lot of you and just be clear about your top priorities and uh, there might be some unpredictable events to happen now others of you some of you might feel like kind of like love is taking you for a ride this is just that's very very uh, maybe one or two or a couple of you because with this this here is almost like some of you had did have the one that didn't have the issues with any kids or anybody younger than you it doesn't have to be your kid just somebody younger than you but if that doesn't ring true for you and it's for others of you it could be that um, maybe your heart's healing from some type of heartbreak or something So you have a, actually a lot of, you also have the Eight of Cups. So you have a lot of cups here. So which is water signs. Which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, but this is showing for some of you. And, uh, and it comes after I, I mentioned, if some of you feel like maybe you've, love is taking you for a ride or something. And your heart's healing from something. But it does show some of you uh, saying the need to move on. Uh, to walk away from something from disappointment and I mentioned disappointment over here so if you're disappointed for some of you like I said there's different stories here because there's more than one person you know watching but um some of you again travel I know I mentioned it earlier you have two cards now that possible for travel but it shows that it's a perfect time to start a new phase in your life All right, I'm going to pull uh, one of these Romance Angel cards. Honeymoon. Okay. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So, honeymoon. All righty. All right, you guys. If you like this um, and want to subscribe, I would appreciate it. And another video should be popping up. You guys might want to check it out. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching.